me, it's a process of narrowing things down continuously. So I tend to go over my lecture notes, any materials or resources, and type up as much information as possible. I then test myself on that, write it down on an A4 piece of paper, test myself on that, put, turn it into palm cards, and just through a process of repetition, end up memorizing the content. Um, I also really enjoy trying to explain the concept to other people because I find that helps a lot in my understanding. I would say don't cram everything before an exam, especially if you take math and use the university spaces for studying. My favorite spaces are the main library and um, King James. <laughs> King James is very relaxing, nice lighting. Uh, and the main library, it just feels like everyone's working around you and it really like motivates you to work. I like to, I like to go with friends, yeah. I'm a big believer in studying alone and then working with friends, so I think make sure you have your study guides ready, make sure you go over your notes and then use your friends as a resource um, to kind of build upon that. Also explaining things to friends I think really helps. Um, so if you're ever worried about a concept, if you can explain it to someone else, I think that's really useful. And rest and go outside, it's so nice out. Take time for yourself. Your brain will work better if you've had a good workout or just go get a coffee with a friend. I think a really good tip is just start looking back at what you did before. Not necessarily hardcore studying, but just review your notes, just get a basic idea of what material you've covered so you sort of just have it running in, your, in the back of your mind and I really find that helps. In the morning I'll make a checklist of even the smallest tasks I have to do for the day and tick them off as I go along which gives you a sense of accomplishment uh, even in those little things. Right here at the King James in St. Mary's Pod. I like how small it is. Uh, I also like how the windows are always open and you can always hear the birds. So even on sunny days like this, you still feel outside. But yeah, I definitely say St. Mary's are like, there's a few really, really nice coffee shops scattered around town as well, which is like, are really nice to just chill and like, you can meet up with friends and get some work done and it's really, it's really good. You're gonna have to name them even though it might make them more busy. Uh, well, my favorite coffee shop is Spoiled Life. <laughs> <laughs> I like, that's the best one. Um, so I like Spoiled, I like St. Mary's and like, sometimes the main library is good because you like the bottom floor is a kind of, as a kind of social floor yeah. so you have like the big round tables that we kind of usually sit at quite a lot it's really good and then the upstairs is like a lot more quiet yeah you uh -huh. to just be like yeah distractions i think the most important thing i've learned is to be proactive and organized with your time and to come up with a schedule pretty um, early on and kind of stick to that every day. I usually make a really big to-do list for the week and then kind of work off of that every day um, and then kind of keep a loose daily schedule that I try to follow um, just so I keep on it. <laughs> I always make sure I leave my room, that's the main thing. And then I use, my favorite study spot is the St. Mary's Library just behind here. Um, yeah, it's really nice. And then to wind down, I like going on sunset walks on West Sands because it's near my accommodation, I'm in ABH. For me, it's getting up nice and early, getting out some fresh air and then cracking on with it. Um, my favourite spot's the coffee shop, Spoiled Life. Great playlist in there if you ever want to check it out. Um, I also like going on walks as well, chilling out, playing a bit of golf, seeing friends. For me, actually, it works getting up really early in the morning and just getting as much as possible done. Um, as early as possible in the day. Also, I think for postgraduate students, it's really important that you're doing something that you're motivated um, in. So, because it is quite independent, you know, you have to do quite a lot by yourself. So, it's really good if you, you know, have something or try and focus on something that um, you're interested in. So, my my subjects are very theoretical. So, I have to go through kind of a lot of. Um, of deep and abstract philosophical concepts and it's very easy to get lost in it all I kind of just often find myself kind of all over the place with it so sometimes what I like to do is just grab like a sheet of paper or a notebook and just scribble like all my thoughts down and then it might look like a mess but it kind of helps me like work through my thoughts and work through like how I'm thinking and then I'll like make it into a more formal plan and I can just make mind maps and stuff like that so I think just thrashing like everything out really really helps like get me some headspace and get me some like some meaning behind all the chaos of like my subject I think. So my personal favorite is the main bar uh, in the Union because it has um, it's got peak study time. Rectors is also very good I spend a lot of time there. Um, old Union is good that's a sort of more um, small scale I guess um, so that's a bit more relaxed. Um, studying outside can be quite nice so we're in the quad right now it's getting out in nature.